And staying with the story, our news reporter Azulibansi well, Mazbugo spoke to the residents, motorists and business owners affected by the underground explosion that happened in the Johannesburg CBD to get details of their experience moments before and after the explosion. Residents, motorists and business owners provide details of their experiences just before and after yesterday's underground explosion that tore up some of the roads in the Johannesburg Central Business District. Before the explosion, some store owners felt the ground shake and their cars were the items most badly damaged. My car is still there, the juke nisa is my car. It's broken, they take it fall on top. You know when that sand comes, it's like shaking every building. Boom, it's like bomb. So everybody was, I was in the shop selling, but immediately we heard that sound, everybody rushed outside. Everything was broken in my shop. Even I went to the shop to carry my bag because my passport is inside. I'm going everywhere with my passports because of the police. Uh, a, a very noisy thing is happening. There's so many cars, more than 20 cars, they are rolling. And the people is so very uh, injured. And so many people is in the hospital. It is a very terrifying thing that's happened yesterday. Shop owners, motorists and bystanders have been warned to stay off a number of roads in the Johannesburg Central Business District as the city continues its cleanup efforts. Various security cluster units have been deployed in and around the city to mitigate any form of violence and protect commuters from the affected areas. For Soweto TV News, I am Zweli Banzi Mazibugo.